Hello everyone, this is Katarina speaking and I'm so glad to present you with the Neptune-Jupiter conjunction energy update. <laughs> wow, that was hard to get out. And with the light language to go with it. And today is for all of us a once in a lifetime um, transit because this particular alignment only happens once every 166 years. And what is so special about it is it brings this beautiful wave of creativity, innovation, heightened intuition, as well as opening our hearts to connect more deeply with one another. So that's such a wonderful energy to dive into. And um, at the same time, it is also helping us to um, anchor the midway point of a new higher timeline we are establishing on Earth. And I'm really excited that once today is all anchored and passed, we can't slip further down, we can only reach higher. And my guide said that this much higher new energetic um, frequency will be around the 20th of May fully anchored because we have this massive, massive solar eclipse on the 30th of April and I do an activation and my guides this morning prompted me. It's also the energy of the Phoenix, the cosmic fire, in the Celtic tradition, it is also Beltane, the festival of fire. And I'm like, oh my God, it's all happening at the same time. And I'm really, really looking forward to the codes that are already streaming in. My guides prompted me to go to stone circles already, anchor much higher, more advanced energies. I can feel the frequencies we have received up until the March equinox have already brought so many shifts and changes in people's lives. I can see that in sessions. I can see the abilities that are now coming online for myself and others. And I'm really, really glad to share all this with you. And um, I asked my guides, how do we stay on target so we stay aligned with this new higher energy coming in and how do we help bringing it in in the first place? And my guides show me that image that all of you who are drawn to these messages, you're also drawn to really anchor those frequencies in. And we are kind of the first ones going up the mountain and we're even setting up the base camp for the others to come later. And the ticket to stay in alignment is really keeping your eye on the heights of the mountain, on the peak to say high positive um, frequencies. I know it's really topsy-turvy at the moment because we get those massive, massive solar flares coming in. I mean, they're really extraordinary, the amount of energy streaming in. and. Um, they destabilize our electromagnetic field. At the same time, Gaia herself is establishing her fifth dimensional body energies, anchoring herself. And my guide said yesterday, we are kind of in the cosmic catch up. She's realigning with the upgrade of the entire solar system. And um, despite all efforts in order to prevent this from happening, it is going ahead because Gaia herself is also having her eyes on the target. She's not going to be willing to slip down in any lower density anymore. And um, if we look at it on the overall, it is absolutely crucial for life on Earth for that to be the case. And you may fear that um, certain animals reach out to you more strongly. The um, telepathic connection is increased, which is wonderful. And um, I'm also feeling um, whales and dolphins reaching out much more strongly than before, um, very tangible. And whales and dolphins have a really active soul star, not just as humans, they have that up here as well. That's where the soul star is located and through that we are more and more telepathically linked, especially for all of those who are in one frequency bandwidth. It's almost like you can hear it, you know, it's like we are dialed into the same radio station and it's like, ah, yeah, I can follow this rhythm, this speed, this is what I'm tuning into too. And through that we are also sharing vast quantities of information with one another. And um, so some of you may feel a whole new set of ascension symptoms. I normally don't feel sick and I don't feel dizzy, but because the Earth's electromagnetic field, the sh so the, the energy below us where we're grounding ourselves with is so dramatically in flux. So I have feelings of sickness, nausea. I'm like, oh my God, this is really not me. And I was a bit concerned and I knew it had something to do with the energies. And then it was really the answer that is Gaia's change. So for all of you who love to douse, 
<laughs> it may not work like it usually does because dowsing is also aligning with the electromagnetic field with your own field and um, the energies don't always compute and my guides put it this way we are going to be recalibrated till around the 20th of may and why that date so on the 30th of april we have this massive massive amazingly um, solar eclipse I think it's on the 16th of May we have the um, lunar eclipse and that is a cosmic boom waters where we are rejuvenated, um, really receiving codes for the divine feminine whereas the solar eclipse is the divine masculine. And it will stream into one energy field around the 20th of May. And my guide said the May activation should be on the 20th. And that's when the sol uh, solar and lunar energies, the codes merge together. And it's this vast alchemical process where those energies fuse and really create a whole new set of frequencies for all of us and they said for this cycle it's also the final upgrade this is the point of completion where it all comes together um, so we have today this beautiful um, transit that brings this wave of joy creativity innovation then we have the solar eclipse and then we've got the lunar eclipse and then we have this portal of unification so it's like oh my god and my guides also said um, in that period the solar flares will continue and we may feel pretty wobbly because um, solar flares can affect us in different ways. On one level they destabilize the field and that makes it sometimes easier to travel into higher dimensions. Sometimes it's so jarring that nothing works. Electrical equipment is definitely highly impacted by it. And um, I myself find it really hard to ground anyway. And if then the earth below me isn't really playing boards, it makes it even worse. And I'm like, oh my God, Karina, what have you done? Um, and when I was guided to the stone circle, my local one on Friday, I could really feel that, um, yeah, they reinstalled something new that I would be easier able to ground. And I'm sure something like this will come through in the light language for all of us. And then the one on Saturday was a massive stone circle in the Lake District and um, it's the one for the Divine Feminine and I've worked for three hours non-stop. It was really intense and really cold um, and I could feel the um, different codes coming in from different mountain ranges um, far more expanded than before. Um, so I'm really curious how it will unfold for all of us on a collective level. And then um, so any major life decision, so my guides also said that today is like a cosmic sneak preview into your future. So if you feel like you're open, um, you either do it in meditation, you gaze into a candle, you have a lovely bath, whichever way helps you to open up. Some of you may want to go for a walk in nature later today um, to receive these insights and that cosmic portal where future input is streaming in. And I hear some of you, oh my God, what if I don't receive anything? The information will reach you either consciously or subconsciously and it can bring major life changes. I can feel a stirring within myself for um, a different um, moving somewhere else, shifts and changes. I can feel it. I don't quite know, know the exact ins and outs, but I can feel it coming. Um, and after that whole cosmic upgrade cycle we are in, I'm sure by um, the end of May, maybe even in the activation, you will receive clearer insights in what this all means. How do you take very clear um, logical action, <laughs> action steps around it? Um, I'm just having a quick look at my notes. Um, and how to ride this wave. So keep your awareness on, you know, what is my highest outcome and also be okay with about being reshuffled, things shift and change. Your awareness is changing and um, things will fall away. And I'm also getting that we are having really intense physical upgrades. I mean, the pineal gland is out of this world activation. I've never received so much intensity. Um, Kundalini activations are stepping up further and further than um, solar plexus and our light bodies get majorly adjusted. For some, my guide around light body activations is always Archangel Metatron that can differ from person to person depending on your team of guides. 
And um, with that, also old folds away and new is coming in. So my guide said, Katarina, you need a few new tools. You need to make changes in your home to bring that higher energy in to help it anchor and also almost fortify your home for those who have chosen to stay in 3D because that can be a clash of energy where you feel like, whoa, um, they are adamant to stay here. I'm adamant to move up. So how do we do this? So that can be a part where um, change is in the air. And now I just want to see what light language is coming in for us. Um, and again, you may would like to hold your hands over your heart um, connect with all the people of a high vibration, that sword star being activated and then thinking of your friends, um, family, um, for all those who wish to share that energy with. Okay, I just feel like I need to take these off. Okay, and then... Iwashki kisi si na na maha. Iwashki kisi sa na na maha. Niwa kiki na masa. Niwa kiki sa sa na maha. Iwash kaka sa sa na maha. Iwash kaka sa sa na maha. Ni. Ishkikisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisisis